class consolidation on the Denver and Rio Grande was probably one of the more famous locomotives on the railroad. Not only did it star in a number of Hollywood movies, but its color scheme was unique to say the least. Following the new diesel era color schemes of the standard gauge DNRGW, an attempt was made to jazz up the locomotive for the 1949 Chicago Railroad Fair. Some color was added to what would have been an otherwise dull engine, at least to non-railroaders. But since the DNRGW continued to operate the loco in that color scheme after the fair, the new color became prototype. The 268 was the last of its class in active service on the railroad. We're at Gunniston, Colorado, and the year is 1952. Photographer Wayne Lincoln worked for the Rio Grande in the bridges and building section of their engineering department. Wayne quickly found out that no one else wanted to inspect the narrow gauge part of the railroad. And being an avid narrow gauge fan, he quickly volunteered for the job. He also happened to carry with him 8mm and 16mm movie cameras and was able to capture a soon to be bygone era of railroading, which very few really cared about. At least the railroad didn't care. Gunnison was almost smack dab in the middle of the narrow gauge circle. The line west led through the Black Canyon of the Gunnison, now under lots of water since the Blue Mesa Reservoir now covers tracks, canyon and all. To the east was famous Monarch Pass. This line was officially known as Subdivision 13 of the main line. The terrain is fairly flat at Gunnison, which makes for some interesting switching, even flying switches, where the engine accelerates, the car is uncoupled on the fly, a switch is thrown after the engine passes over it, and the free-rolling car coasts into a siding now on the other end of the engine. Although flying switches were discouraged by the railroads because they could be dangerous, most management personnel looked the other way when one was performed, because if everything worked the way it should, it made the switching jobs easier for crews. What a beautiful day in the Rockies. The Aspen are at their peak, the sky is about as blue as it can get, and the 268 sounds just right in the crisp autumn air.